It's November 14, 2007. And this evening, as I watched Katie Couric's version of the news, her stories brought tears to my eyes twice. The first time when she had this story about our veterans from the wars, Iraq and Afghanistan, and the rate of suicide. God help us. God forgive us for what we have done not only to the people of Iraq, but to our kids who are involved in doing their duty but seeing things and having to do things that they can't live with very well after they get home. I had a little personal experience with a soldier during the Korean War that makes that particularly a meaningful problem from my perspective. I'll go into that story some other time. The second time that tears came to my eyes is when she had this story where the farmers in Iowa pitched in or got organized and came in and harvested the corn crop for the farmer who was too ill to bring in his own crop. Had a lot of meaning to me and I'll get to why in just a minute or two. First I need to say that my wife teases me and for years a fellow named Greg Polly when we were in the Conway Springs, Kansas area, would tease Donna. Never, he said, had he seen anybody come to see about buying pigs and have a beautiful young woman with him who was uh, rather overdressed to be going pig shopping. And Donna likes to tease me about that. She says, yep, that's your idea of a date. Pick a girl up all gussied up. She had on a beautiful lime green knitted dress that her mother had made for her. First time I think she wore it to, to be on a date with me. And I take her out pig shopping. Well, darn it. During, the, well, before the war, we were into the spotted pole and china hogs that were the kind of hogs that are now the correct kind. Lots of vacant, big, lean, long hogs. But then during the war, Suddenly, the government needed lard, needed that fat. And here we had been winning the blue ribbons, doing very well at the 4-H shows with our spotted, polled, long, lean hogs. Suddenly, fat hogs were getting the ribbons. Well, I wanted to be a competitive person. I wanted my hogs to win. So I'm out shopping not for another purebred long bacon type hog, but for a fat pig that'll become a fat hog. And you know what? Somebody told me that a fellow named Greg Polly had just such animals. So, you know, I thought I better go take a look while the animals were still there. And Donna didn't really protest, and off we went to see about those hogs. Ended up buying a couple of them too and winning some top prizes with them. Well, time went by. After we were married and had been in the service, my mother was dying of cancer and in the intervening years my parents had left the farm over between Conway Springs and Milton and in the Milton School community and moved over southeast of Conway Springs and were neighbors of the pig farmer, Catholic Greg Polly. Well, my mom's dying of cancer this particular year and my dad's not taking care of his business as a farmer. He's trying to take care of his wife and deal with the grief of realizing he's going to lose my mother. He doesn't get his wheat crop in and he doesn't get started on turning the soil over to get ready for putting in the next wheat crop. And the neighbors, Greg Polly and others, got organized and came in and harvested that crop 
I'm not too sure but what some of them actually turned over some soil too. Greg, the Catholic, several of the other neighbors Catholic. I've always wondered, had my dad known what kind of people Catholics really were, would he way back there when I was just a kid and had laid my head on that little Catholic girl's lap when she invited me to do so, would he have said, son, you don't date Catholic girls?